BB Hero Check back in with just a couple more sticks for the 2020 year. And what we're working with today is the DeMarini Delbron Gart Nautili. Yeah, Big thanks goes out to you guys, you subscribers, and you fans for supporting the channel, watching the videos. I'm not making a ton of money off of this YouTube stuff, but what I do make, I'm trying to put back into the channel. And with that, I was able to pick up one of these to get a review on so we could see what the hype was all about. This bat started the day new in wrapper. Dylan got the honors of the initial break-in, and then Brian put another 30 to 40 on it before I took my round with it. The temps were in the mid-50s, and we knew that going in, so we stored the bat and the balls indoors the night before to help the cause of the bat not breaking in so fast and feeling compression or even cracking in those temperatures, and it made a world of difference. We even went as far as leaving the heat on in the car while we got everything set up so everything was warm and fresh when we were ready to get started with hitting. And with doing that, we were able to not run into any issues and it let us hit our usual mix of balls that we would for a U-Trip yeah. bat, which include the Evil BP-52 Plus and the 52 300 Game Ball, as well as some Classic M's and some 44 400 Special Blends. This particular bat is approved for U-Trip LSA, NSA, and ISA play, and it is a 27 ounce and okay. advertised as inloaded. The actual amount of inload on the DeMarie stuff is never advertised, but the Brungart models usually come with a little bit more booty in them, and this one definitely had it. It had to be at least a full ounce in this thing. It was an absolute sledge. But in turn, it made hitting a ball hard, absolutely effortless. As long as you can get it moving, that big inload's gonna do the rest. This bat features a 13-inch composite barrel that felt practically identical to the standard Nautilus model that we tried earlier in the year. See the link up in the corner to go check that one out. And also, just like that Nautilus, this one featured an alloy handle that gave it a pretty rigid feel. Never had any signs of whip or flex or anything, and it wasn't so stiff that it killed your hands if you did happen to miss a sweet spot. We're gonna get done with our swings from the boys here and then head to the labs and then I'll catch back up with you guys and when I get started with my round, I'll give you guys the download on this thing. Ah, I'm still not big enough. <laughs> Lost that Ari. Good catch. No, you're good. Oh, <laughs> oh God. I thought it was out there further than that. Mad about that. I like it. What's this man talking about? 
So on a scale, this one came in at 27.6. Usually the DeMarinis can run a little bit light, but that actually wasn't the case with this one, which I think also just kind of drives home the point of just how much juice this thing had in it. And you can see the compression here when this thing was new in the wrapper. And just like the Nautili on the cartel that we tried, as these things are starting really, really high and then coming down to about the 240 to 250 range within 50 to 75 swings. And then from there, it progresses and breaks in just like a normal bat. And further proof of that, as we see the tester here after Dylan's first round of BP with this thing, and then I was absolutely blown away to see this thing was only testing at about the 230 range when Brian got his round in on it, and then I put my swings on it, and we got it back on the tester. Wow. I was impressed. I will say that. I wouldn't expect a ton of durability out of a lot of these things, and I, I guess just keeping that stuff warm and doing what we did to make sure that it wouldn't fail compression did actually work. So that was kind of cool to see. And just getting a close-up photo op with this thing. And only thing to mention from the visual inspection here is these gorgeous lines of webbing that basically are letting me know this thing is broken in and ready for game time. Put it in the bag, get it out and enjoy it, and then put it back away. No BP needed once you start seeing these lines of webbing showing up in the paint. And with the lab stuff out of the way, we're heading back to the field. Dean Marini's hype for U-Trip this last year or so has been growing steadily, and this bat has been a hot topic in those conversations. I was so glad to be able to try one of these out just to see for myself. The hype on the internet has left me disappointed several times in the past, but I can say for a fact that I did not get let down with this one. I liked the standard model Nautili that we tried earlier in the year, and that same bat with more inload made this a stick that would be super hard for me to tell someone to pass up on. The same barrel, the same handle, and all of that stuff considered, the only thing that I felt set these two apart was the Brungard's extra inload that appeared to have, what I can say that with confidence, an edge of performance between the two. They shared the same traits of having a sweet spot that wasn't necessarily the biggest, but felt amazing when you got Perfect it. And the barrel day. forgiveness was practically identical as well. But what set this apart and gave it the edge with the inload is the ability to somewhat miss a ball and still have good performance. More mass equals more performance, and that's exactly what was happening in those situations. I will be open to saying that if you like to take a down at BP, then these probably aren't the bats for you. Although I was absolutely blown away that this thing was still passing the current 220 compression it was designed for. Don't expect it to last for more than about 150 to 200 swings. With a mix of balls similar to what we were hitting, before you start approaching the territory of failing compression. It's only a problem for like 5% of the country, but I will say that it does give us a good idea of how the bat is breaking in. That's why I like putting things on the tester to see, because it can kind of give us a little bit of a sign of what durability might be like. So my suggestion, 50 to 100 swings to get the compression knocked down to about the 240 range and throw it in the bag for games and have yourself one of my favorite U-Trip bats from the year. BP Hero approved 110%. This thing actually lived up to the hype, and I was glad to see that it did. Now, I will say, it's going to be yeah. damn near impossible to find these new and wrapper or anywhere on the secondhand market. I don't think any retailers have these left in stock. So if you're wanting to see what one of these bats will be like and are willing to sacrifice with a little bit less inload, then definitely check out the standard edition Not A Lie. You can go over to Headbanger Sports and get they're running some pretty good prices on those right now. And if you don't want to mess with going through the website, you can reach out to me and I can get you hooked up as well. That's going to be a wrap for this one, guys. Thanks for stopping in and checking it out. We've got one more bat to go. And then it's going to be time for the best of 2020. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel to catch up with that last review and the best of 2020. And we're going to have some 2021s rolling as soon as they start releasing. Headbanger is going to be sending them. We're going to be trying them out as so we get that content up for you guys. So until that stuff gets here, swing hard in case you hit it, and I'll catch you in those videos.
it in your swing. Done.